Good morning. How are you going? I'm going to do today a session called 321. So, as the name of the I'm going to go through uh, two minutes strength and one minute core. So, we're going to do two rounds um, and we're going to try to work as many muscle work as we can in the process. Let's do a quick warm up first, please. Let's go over the chest. One, four, here. Two, one. Let's do some little arm circles. Gradually getting bigger. One, cross the hands over the way. Two, one. Nice big reach up high. Two, one. Let's take it across the body. Stretch, pull it down. Two more. Two, keep that tiny squeeze always. Other side, pull it down. Two more. Excellent. Just a couple of heel butt kicks. Good work. Last couple. Excellent. Let's give the knees a quick hug. Just bring them up as high as you can. Let's try and just hold it. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Four. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Last two. Excellent. Excellent. Let's get started. We're going to start with our cardio first, guys. So we're going to go shuffle, side shuffle with a little scissor. What do I call it? This a scissor shuffle, and then we're gonna come down and go sideways. So we're gonna go one, two, three. One, two, three. So if you can't jump, you'll tap your toes. One, two, three. And then you go one, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, so you've got a couple of options there. Right up. Okay, I'll show you the low impact first. Three, nice and low. One, two, three, one, two, three. Halfway, we're going to go for one minute per exercise. That's low impact. Three. Nice and low. Sit. And stay low, keep the tension in the legs. Nearly done. Excellent work. Okay. We are going to do lateral walking squats now. If you've got a band, you can grab that. Put it on top of your knees. We're going to push back. We're going to pulse. Three, two, one. Each side. Three, a little pulse here. Show you from this angle, pushing back. Three, two, one, pulse. Set. Good. Push back as low as you can. One minute per exercise. Every exercise is one minute. Three minutes cardio. Two minutes strength. One minute core. Excellent. Pulse. Good work. One, all oh, the legs. Are you feeling the legs like I am? That's like eight seconds left. Excellent. Last one, we're going to do our froggy. Just a couple of options. If you can't do froggy, just push back and do a squat pulse and step on the spot. Or you can put your elbows on top 
and straighten out from here. Or elbows in between the legs. Straighten the legs back. Okay, try and keep those shoulders back. So elbows if you can. Between the knees, I'm straightening out my legs each time I push back. Excellent. So other two options. Top of the knees, not a finger range of motion. Or just the squat hops. Okay. So the froggies if you can. That. Excellent. I know there's lots of legs, but we're moving to our upper body next. Excellent work. Oh. A little stretch if you need to. We're nearly there. Excellent work. Okay, moving to upper body. We're going to start with a curl and a press. So curl to the shoulders, press above the head. Let's go. A little bit control. So when I press, I don't want my shoulders to bunch up to my ears. So I'm not doing that, trying to relax the shoulders. Excellent, we are halfway. Keep those feet wide. Nice, strong foundation. Good job. Come on, nearly there. Try and breathe out as you press that weight above the head. Excellent. Well done. So I'm going to go down in weight for the next exercise. So we're going to do 30 seconds of front raises. If you just had one dumbbell, you could do either side. So no higher than the chin. So I'm working the front of my shoulder here. Try not to round that upper back. That's as high as you need to come. Okay? So strong in the back. You don't want this rounded. You want to keep that good alignment the whole time. Don't need to go too heavy with this one because we're only trying to isolate the front delt, the front shoulder muscle. Excellent. One minute and then we're going to take it to a side raise. Excellent work. Keep up. Well done, a little break for this time. Yeah, so slight bend the elbows. This time you're thinking about lifting from the side of the shoulder up to here. Again, we can't hunch it. We want to start from a strong foundation. So you have my arms come a little bit in front of my body, but I never, they're not back here. Slightly in front, not, not back. A little bend in the elbows. Make sure that your neck is nice and long. That little bend, don't lock out the joint. I can feel that one and a half kilo dumbbells. A couple of tin tomatoes would suffice as well. Good look, come on, nearly there. Oh, goodness me. Okay, one minute four. So, I'm going to do a quite plain heel tap. Uh, sorry, toe tap. So your alternative would be a 
plank on the knees or the feet. Baby cat. Rewind, let's go back to the hustle. Oh, my bad, I've done three core exercises, one, sorry, three, three straight exercises, three exercises, and I don't need to do two. All good. Sorry about that. Okay, three, two, one. Squeeze back to a pipe, and then reach opposite hand to toe, flat to the plank. Three seconds. Pipe, three seconds. Opposite hand to toe. Bring it back. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Reach. Three, two, one. Up to the plank. Tight. One. You probably need to hold the spring. What are you doing, spring? Strength exercises. Now I've done. we got an extra minute in. All good. Ah, oh, end of the set after this one. Squeeze the hips up. If you've got um, your hands aren't too tight, you might be able to put your lips, uh, heels down on the ground. Okay, that's the end of set one. We've got one left. Okay, back to our cardio. We are going to start. We do some going off. We're going to do some dumbbell splinters, so add some weight if you like. So we're going to start here, and then we're going to reverse that movement. And down here. Bend that leg, or you can keep the back leg straight. Same thing on the other side. So basically, the arm switch, and the leg comes up. can be straight or bent. See it looks like this. Straight. Looks like this. Switching, holding, one goes straight, the other goes forward back. That's a little bit tough. Okay, let's go in out. Jumps, pulse in out, jump pulse. Washing out those legs. One, two, one, two, stay in the table. So if you were stepping, you can step either side if you wanted. 
Don't forget the little pulse in the 20s. That's third. Cardio move, we're going to strength next. Push it back as low as you can. Ooh. Okay, that's cardio done. We're going to do some core work next. Let's start with a pec deck, chest exercise. My back is straight. I'm not rounding my shoulders as I bring my elbows together. Strong. Using the power of the shoulders, shoulder, hip, shoulders, I should say, and check for this movement. I need to go too heavy. Good job. Oh. How long have we got? 10 seconds, thank goodness. Okay, next exercise. Um, you can, you're not going to come to the floor, you can do push-ups against the wall. Uh, we're going to do a press-up, a renegade press-up. So we're going to do one press-up and two rows. Okay, you can do the, the same thing against the wall. I'll show you if you're against the wall. Then so just do the push-up and then push-up. And then one, two, sway back with the elbows. Going, guys. Hop up to the feet if you feel like you can. Enough, and it's all rest. Bring it with the elbow. Final strength exercise. Last one. Excellent. Our final exercise will be our triple crunch. So we're going to do one crunch. Then bicycle left, bicycle right. Let's go. So using that tummy to squeeze it up, opposite elbow, and then other side. Good job. Good. Take it across. Other side. Excellent. I'm using my abs to lift my body off the ground. I'm not pulling on the neck. Center down. Cross to the left. Cross to the right. Come on. Oh, that. Last one. We're nearly there. Oh. Yay, excellent. Let's stretch it out nice and long. Full body stretch, well done. Okay, give those knees a quick cuddle. Pull them in, ankle rotation. Well done. You made it to the end. Excellent work. Let's take it to a quick stretch. Remember those sprinters, you can take the leg back straight or you can take it back with a lunge, you know, into a lunge position. 
just hold that, those arms one forward, one back. It's a bit of a new movement for me, you can tell that that's all right, we're going to try these a few things, don't we? That's how we progress to one switching sides, reaching through that Nice deep glute stretch here. Back to one. Awesome. Let's go to a groin stretch here. Support those legs. Take support the knees. Take the legs as wide as you can. One. Excellent. Up and over. You can pop into a child's pose. I'm going to do this for a second, then I'm going to come up for the fight. So you might want to stay here, or you can follow me. Knees it back, hips tight, and then I'm going to walk the dog. Squeeze the heels into the ground. Five. Three. Excellent. Let's walk it in now. Not standing. Open up that chest. Take the shoulders back and down. The way. Lift that chin. We're going to reverse this one in a second. From the base of the spine. Two, one. All the way to the top of the skull. On the top of the neck. Around that back. Tuck the chin. Hold it here. And bring it up now, drop the shoulders, roll out. Other way. Two, one, let's hinge it over for a handspring stretch. And then hold. Excellent. Do a nice deep stretch up here. Okay, that before we come up, raise the tummy to bend the knees, roll, little shoulder roll, go to place. Now stretch. Bring that heel back, push the knee away from the body. Okay, last couple, nearly there. Two. Switch your leg, same side, same stretch. Really feel that stretch. Okay, let's finish up. Flashing out all in that hard work. Three. And then give yourself a great one cut. Thank you so much. We have worked at the three, two, one. Have a great day.